Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at Oracle Open World, and I'm in the QLogic booth with Tim Lusting from QLogic, and we're going to talk about a couple of the Switch products that are provided by QLogic to HP. Hi, Jake. Uh, we want to talk about uh, two different Switch products. It's actually the entire H series product line from uh, Hewlett Packard. And we've got two of those switches. There's one of them is a A-20Q, which is a 20-port uh, switch. You can purchase that in an eight-port minimum configuration and then scale up to 20 ports. It's a small switch, but good for uh, you know, the greenfield opportunities for people getting into the sands. Uh, the second switch I wanted to mention is the uh, SN6000, which is uh, really a, a very flexible uh, switch. It allows you to start off uh, with, again, as low as eight ports, and then scale all the way up to 24 ports per switch. But one thing that we have which is really unique about this product is it gives you the op opportunity to use a, uh, a stacking feature. So very similar to uh, the Ethernet space where Keylogic adopted this technology. Uh, we have a high bandwidth uh, backplane on it that can be connected multiple switches together. As you connect the switches together, it allows you then to manage them as one switch. Uh, the unique thing about this then is uh, it gives you the availability to uh, really converge your infrastructure, have a very small footprint, and scale up to a large uh, uh, data center supports for the uh, fiber channel connectivity. Uh, start off with the uh, um, up to 24 ports and scales up to uh, up to 300 ports in a stack uh, or multi-stack configuration. So. What are the unique things about these switches that, as opposed to some of the other competing switches in the industry? Well, uh, one really unique piece I'd like to identify is really the software. We have uh, what's called a SAN configuration manager. And it, it's very good for, again, these greenfield opportunities. And, and uh, it allows you to manage not only the, the uh, switch infrastructure, but the entire SAN infrastructure. So a, a little bit more um, you know, integrated uh, as far as complete management uh, package as from HP. Uh, if you start off with a, a small opportunity, you can drop a CDN. It discovers all the devices that are, are out there on the sand. It uh, installs the correct device drivers and everything, and it allows you to get up and running in no time. You can, as I mentioned, manage any of the, the HP storage arrays with this too, and uh, also uh, allows you to uh, uh, to uh, map the devices, uh, do LUN masking, and things of that nature, all from one utility. It gives you uh, full features, as I mentioned before, when we start stacking those switches, they can manage them as one, so you'll see those uh, switches as one device and be able to do all the management through uh, one ut utility, one single pane of glass. And one of the things that I noticed that was interesting about uh, the these QLogic solutions for HP is that they are invisible to some of the competing router technologies. Yeah, very good. Uh, good observation. We have what we, we call as transparent routing, and it, it's a uh, the ability to actually mask the switch from the core fabric. So if you, let's say you have a, a B series or a C series fabric out there, uh, you might want to uh, connect in with a, a lower cost, simpler solution on your edge devices. This will allow you to actually be transparent, the switch will be transparent to the, to the core fabric, but allow you to see all the devices that are connected to the SAN. And uh, for anybody that has used some of those uh, Brocade and Cisco products, some of the features don't work if there's something in the middle part of the time. Correct. That's what alleviates that problem. So, uh, for instance, if you were doing some uh, long-range trunking with the, your core fabric, uh, if you connected it up to, uh, say, one of the Cisco channel switches, that function would be uh, uh, not operational anymore or in that core fabric. So, uh, with HP, we've gone ahead and uh, licensed this technology to them. They can now be transparent to the devices, uh, to the, the core, core fabric, and get full functionality out of their core fabric. The SN6000 is uh, stackable, as you mentioned earlier, but one of the things that is unique about its stacking is it actually has stacking ports that do not eat up all of the usable ports. Yes, that's correct. Uh, if you take a look at the actual, what we call like the end user and node ports, uh, they have uh, either 2, 4, or 8 gigabit capacity. The stacking features actually have a uh, 10 to 20 gigabit port speeds. Uh, four of those per switch, so you get up to 120 bidirectional uh, bandwidth out of the uh, four stacking ports. It leaves you with the full capacity of your uh, 24 ports to connect your end devices. Nice. So is there anything else we should know about these switches? Uh, they're available by, uh, from HP, and uh, go out and purchase some for your edge devices and uh, small sand configurations.